Hi, I'm Karen Corbeil, and this is The Learning Circuit. In a previous segment, we learned how to make a simple circuit using an LED. Let's apply that to a fun project. Today, I'm going to show you how to make an edgelet sign. When making an edgelet sign, you add scratches to a piece of acrylic, and those scratches interrupt the beam of light from the LED to show your design. I used acrylic that is 0.1 inches thick, but you could also use eighth inch or a similar thickness. You don't want to go too thin because then it might break, and you don't want to go too thick because it'll just be difficult to deal with. When deciding the size of your acrylic, you want to stick around two to three inches in either rectangular or square. If you go too big, the light of your LED won't reach your design and it won't light up very well. So for this particular application, if you're only using one LED, then you want a smaller design. When drawing your design, you want to make sure that your lines are not going to be too thin because there will not be enough mass to catch the light significantly to really show off your design. So when you make your design, you want to make sure that you're using nice, bold lines. You'll notice I drew extra lines within the border of the acrylic. When we're done, we're going to be putting aluminum tape around the edges, so we want to make sure that the design isn't going to be covered up by our tape later. Now that I have my design, I'm going to tape my acrylic down so that it doesn't shift and I get a good alignment with my acrylic and the design. Next, you're going to want to etch your design. You can use an X-Acto blade or any kind of hobby knife that has a sharp pointy end. If you have a younger child doing this, you can buy one of these electric etchers. They're nice because they're not sharp and they have a blunted end. They take a little bit of work and they give you a different finish, but they're safe. For my example, I etched in a few different techniques so I could show you the differences of direction of scratch and how it affects your design when you place your LED. For the moon, I used the electric etcher so it has a nice even etch on it so there aren't really any sharp points, it's just all kind of glowing evenly. For some of the stars, I etched in one direction versus the other so you could see that when the scratch is perpendicular to the light, it catches the light much better versus where if the scratch is going parallel to the light, it doesn't catch it very well. Really, it just catches the leading edge of the scratch. A good idea, if you don't have a specific design in mind, is to do what is called cross hatching, where you scratch in opposing directions so that no matter where you place the light, it'll still catch it. Or you can just go in all crazy directions like this star, and it'll catch it equally as well. This next step isn't required, but I highly recommend it. If you cut a little notch in the edge of your acrylic, it'll hold your LED in place and keep the light pointing exactly where you want it. Time to cut our acrylic. When choosing your LEDs, you want to be a little bit particular. This one is diffused and therefore doesn't let as much light through. This one is colored and is pretty good, but the clear red one is really the best because it lets the most light through so that it can get to your design. When placing your LED against your acrylic, you wanna make sure that the leads are on top of each other because you're gonna be placing your battery in between them and you wanna make sure that it's going to be flat along with the acrylic. On the learning circuit, we present projects and concepts that are geared towards educators, parents, and those new to electronics. If there's anything you would like to learn about electronics, please tell us about it on the Element 14 community and keep on learning.